Tin, 2, chloride, also known as stannous chloride, is a white crystalline solid with the formula SnCl2. It forms a stable dihydrate, but aqueous solutions tend to undergo hydrolysis, particularly if hot. SnCl2 is widely used as a reducing agent, and in electrolytic baths for tin plating. Tin, 2, chloride should not be confused with the other chloride of tin. Tin, 4, chloride or stannic chloride. Chemical structure, SnCl2 has a lone pair of electrons, such that the molecule in the gas phase is bent. In the solid state, crystalline SnCl2 forms chains linked via chloride bridges as shown. The dihydrate is also three coordinate, with one water coordinated onto the tin, and a second water coordinated to the first. The main part of the molecule stacks into double layers in the crystal lattice, with a second water sandwich between the layers. Chemical properties, tin, 2, chloride can dissolve in less than its own mass of water without apparent decomposition, but as the solution is diluted hydrolysis occurs to form an insoluble basic salt, SnCl2 plus H2O Sn, OH, Cl plus HCl, therefore if clear solutions of tin, 2, chloride are to be used, it must be dissolved in hydrochloric acid to maintain the equilibrium towards the left-hand side. Solutions of SnCl2 are also unstable towards oxidation by the air, 6 SnCl2 plus O2 plus 2 hours 2 OA2 SnCl4 plus 4 Sn, OH, Cl, this can be prevented by storing the solution over lumps of tin metal. There are many such cases where tin, 2, chloride acts as a reducing agent, reducing silver and gold salts to the metal, and iron, 3, salts to iron, 2, for example, SnCl2 plus 2 FeCl3 SnCl4 plus 2 FeCl2, it also reduces copper, 2, to copper, I. Solutions of tin, 2, chloride can also serve simply as a source of Sn2 plus ions, which can form other tin, 2, compounds via precipitation reactions. For example, reaction with sodium sulfide produces the brown-black tin, 2, Sulfide, SnCl2 plus Na2 SSNS plus 2 and ACL. If alkali is added to a solution of SnCl2, a white precipitate of hydrated tin, 2, oxide forms initially. This then dissolves in excess base to form a starnite salt such as sodium starnite, SnCl2, AC, plus 2 Na O or SnOH2O plus 2 and ACL, SnOH2O plus Na O and ASN, OH. 3, and hydrous SnCl2 can be used to make a variety of interesting tin, 2, compounds in non-aqueous solvents. For example, the lithium salt of 4-methyl-2, 6-D-tert-butylphenol reacts with SnCl2 and THF to give the yellow linear 2-coordinate compound Sn, or, 2. Tin, 2, chloride also behaves as a Lewis acid, forming complexes with ligands such as chloride ion. For example, SnCl2 plus CsCl or CsSnCl3, most of these complexes are pyramidal, and since complexes such as SnCl3 have a full octet, there is little tendency to add more than one ligand. The lone pair of electrons in such complexes is available for bonding, however, and therefore the complex itself can act as a Lewis base or ligand. This seen in the ferrocene related product of the following reaction, SnCl2 plus Fe, I5C5H5, CO, 2HGCl of Fe, I5C5H5, CO, 2SnCl3 plus Hg, SnCl2 can be used to make a variety of such compounds containing metal-metal bonds. For example, the reaction with dicobalt octocarbonyl, SnCl2 plus CO2, CO, a to 4 Co, SnCl2, Co, Company, 4. Preparation, anhydrous SnCl2 is prepared by the action of dry hydrogen chloride gas on tin metal. The dihydrate is made by a similar reaction, using hydrochloric acid, Sn plus 2 HCl or SnCl2 plus H, 2, the water then carefully evaporated from the acidic solution to produce crystals of SnCl2 at 2 hours duo. This dihydrate can be dehydrated to anhydrous using acetic anhydride. Uses, 
a solution of tin, 2, chloride containing a little hydrochloric acid is used for the tin plating of steel, in order to make tin cans. An electric potential is applied, and tin metal is formed at the cathode via electrolysis. Tin, 2, chloride is used as a mordant in textile dyeing because it gives brighter colors with some dyes for example cochineal. This mordant has also been used alone to increase the weight of silk. It is used as a catalyst in the production of the plastic polylactic acid. It also finds a use as a catalyst between acetone and hydrogen peroxide to form the tetrameric form of acetone peroxide. Tin, 2, chloride also finds wide use as a reducing agent. This is seen in its use for silvering mirrors, where silver metal is deposited on the glass, SN2 plus plus 2 Ag plus SN4 plus plus 2 Ag, a related reduction was traditionally used as an analytical test for HG2 plus, Ag. For example, if SNCl2 is added dropwise into a solution of mercury, 2, chloride, a white precipitate of mercury, I, chloride is first formed. As more SNCl2 is added this turns black as metallic mercury is formed. Stannous chloride can be used to test for the presence of gold compounds. SNCl2 turns bright purple in the presence of gold. When mercury is analyzed using atomic absorption spectroscopy, a cold vapor method must be used, and tin chloride is typically used as the reductant. In organic chemistry, SNCl2 is mainly used in the Stevin reduction, whereby a nitrile is reduced to an amine which is easily hydrolyzed to an aldehyde. The reaction usually works best with aromatic nitriles aryl CN. A related reaction starts with an amide, which is treated with PCl5 to form the amide oil chloride salt. The Stevin reduction is less used today, because it has been mostly superseded by diisobutyl aluminium hydride reduction. Additionally, SNCl2 is used to selectively reduce aromatic nitro groups to anilines. SNCl2 also reduces quinones to hydroquinones. Stannous chloride is also added as a food additive with E number E512 to some canned and bottled foods, where it serves as a color retention agent and antioxidant. SNCl2 is used in radionuclide angiography to reduce the radioactive agent technetium 99 m protectionitate to assist in binding to blood cells. Finally, aqueous stannous chloride is used by many precious metals refining hobbyists as an indicator of gold and platinum group metals in solutions. Notes References N. N. Greenwood, A. N. Shaw, Chemistry of the Elements, 2nd ed., Butterworth Heinemann, Oxford. UK, 1997. Handbook of Chemistry and Physics, 71st edition, CRC Press, Ann Arbor, Michigan, 1990. The Merck Index, 7th edition, Merck and Company, Rahway, New Jersey, USA, 1960. A. F. Wells, Structural and Organic Chemistry, 5th ed., Oxford University Press, Oxford, UK, 1984. J. March, Advanced Organic Chemistry, 4th ed., pages 723, Wiley, New York, 1992.